Hello students, in today's class we will discuss what is divisibility and some of the theorems and problems related to divisibility. So what is divisibility? An integer b is said to be divisible by an integer a not equal to 0 if there exists an integer c such that b is equal to ac where c is also integer. So we can represent it or denote it as A divides B. One example I will consider here that is 4 is divisible by 2 or I can say that 2 divides 4. Uh, how we can uh, say that? That is 4 is equal to 2 into 2. So here in the place of A you are having 2, in the place of B you are having 4, in the place of C you are having so even minus 15 is divisible by 5. How? 5 divides minus 15. Here in the place of C you get it as minus 3. Because C is an integer so clearly minus 3 belongs to the, the integer set. So we can say minus 15 is equal to 5 into minus 3. That is 15, uh, 5 divides minus 15. Even plus 15 is also possible. In other words, we can express divisibility relation as A divides B or A is a divisor of B or A is a factor of B or A is a multiple of A. Sorry, B is a multiple of A. So, we will see a theorem on divisibility that is for any integer A, B, C, the following condition holds. That is A divides B, comma 1 divides A, A divides A. Second condition is A divides 1 if and only if A is equal to plus or minus 1. Third one is A divides B and C divides B. Then we can say that A, C, sorry, A divides B and C divides D. Then we can say that A, C divides B, D. If A divides B and B divides C, then we can say that A divides C. If A divides B and B divides A, then we can say that A is equal to plus or minus B. Next, sixth condition is if A divides B and B is not equal to 0, then we can say modulus of A is less than or equal to modulus of B. If A divides B and A divides C, then a divides bx plus cy for any arbitrary integer x and y. Okay. So, we will see the proof of this theorem that is 0 we can write it as a into 0, right. So, by that we can say that a divides 0. Similarly, we can write a as a into 1 that is 1 divides a. And we can write A as A into 1. So, by that we can say that A divides A. Second one, if A divides 1, then we can write 1 as A into K for some K, which is nothing but an integer, right? So, uh, the product of two integers we should get, it is equal to 1 means that two integers should be either equal to plus 1 or equal to minus 1. So, we can say that A and K are equal to plus or minus 1. Next, we will go with the third one. That is the third condition given here is A divides B and C divides D. So, we will consider here A divides B, right? Using the divisibility definition, we can write B is equal to A into K1 for some K1 belongs to Z. And also C divides D means what we can write D is equal to C into K2 for some K2 belongs to Z. Now what we will do we will multiply B into D. We should get it as equal to A into C into 1 integer. So B into D is nothing but A K1 into A K C K2 that is nothing but A into C into K1 K2. You can observe here K1 is also integer, K2 is also integer. So, product of two integers is clearly an integer. So, we can write it as AC into K where K is equal to K1, K2 and clearly it belongs to the integer set. So, by that we can come to the conclusion that AC divides BD. Now, next one suppose A divides B and B divides C. So, A divides B means what? B is equal to A into K1 where K1 is an integer 
b divide c means c is equal to b into k2 where k2 is a integer so c is equal to b into k2 we know that right so here replace b by a into k1 so you get it is equal to a into k where k is nothing but k1 k2 clearly as i said may earlier that is k1 is a integer k2 is a integer product of two integers is clearly a integer so we get a divides c now fifth one here it is mentioned that a divides b and b divides a using the divisibility condition we can write b is equal to a k1 and a is equal to b k2 next what we have to do we have to prove that one second okay so here a divides b suppose and b is not equal to 0 so what is the condition here since a is not equal to 0 we get modulus of a b is greater than or equal to 1 so here a divides b means what is the according to the definition b is equal to a k1 where k1 belongs to integer set z so if we take the modulus on both the sides we get modulus of b is equal to modulus of a into k1 which is nothing but modulus of a into modulus of k1 also b is not equal to 0 so k1 is also not equal to 0 so we get modulus of k1 is greater than or equal to 1 from 1 we are having in one the equation is nothing but modulus of b is equal to modulus of a into modulus of k1 right so clearly it is greater than or equal to modulus of a so we have modulus of a is greater than or equal to modulus of b now next one we are having mod a divides b and a divides c Uh, here a divides b means b is equal to a into k1 for some k1 belongs to z c is equal to a into k2 because a divides c where k2 is an integer so multiplying here bx plus cy we get ax k1 plus ay k2 taking out a common outside we get x k1 plus y k2 that we will replace by k so we get it is nothing but a k where k is nothing but k1 x plus k2 y where uh, clearly it is a product and sum of integers it is a integer so by induction we can say that if a divides b x for k is equal to 1 to so on up to n when a divides then a divides b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus so on up to bn xn for arbitrary integers x1 x2 so on up to xn and b1 into x1 b2 into x1 x2 so on up to bn into xn is called as linear combination of b1 b2 so on up to bn so further theorems related to this we'll study in our next class thank you